Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is more of a rant than it is like a tutorial or anything else. Um, and you'll actually be kind of proud of me for once I actually kind of have a, uh, I basically have a script written because I wanted to get my thoughts written down before I actually made the video so I wouldn't miss anything. So I kind of gave myself some notes, some bullet points, and things that I wanted to follow so I wouldn't miss anything while I was actually making this video. So you'll see that obviously on this side of the screen, what you're seeing, I have a Scrappy's YouTube video up of him playing the new summer campaign on Trackmania 2020. Um, something that I can't stand in the gaming industry, especially with games that get constant updates where you can't roll them back no matter what you do because then your game is not supported by like online uh, play or anything like that, or there's just no way to download the old versions. Uh, I can't, I just can't stand game developers that quote unquote continuously try to balance the physics, whether it be, you know, like how fast or slow something is or uh, jump height or like car speed or the way the car reacts on a surface is kind of my point of this video rant. Um, I need to stop saying um in my videos. People have told me that. I just Maybe I'll just learn how to cut them out. So I've been a fan of the Trackmania series since around 2008 when Trackmania Sunrise released. There were three different environments in that game. There was Island, Coast, and Bay. And I can actually show you those real quick because they're, they were all pretty cool in their own way. So Island, actually, the very first video I ever put on my channel was a Island environment video of this exact racetrack. Uh, the only difference between Nadia's version and mine was I actually closed off a shortcut because I edited the track and I blocked off a shortcut that was possible on this track. And I had a texture mod on the tech uh, on the track. I also, I think, was using a Lamborghini uh, for my uh, car visual. But um, awesome game. I loved it. Island was full of like speedy drifts, high speed racing. As you can see, there's the quarter pipes and loops and jumps. Just a ton of fun. Huge wall rides. Kind of similar to today's track mania island or uh stadium environment so let me show you what coast was real quick just for you know the understanding this isn't a natio based track but it is a coast environment race uh from oh a month ago why is it like potato quality if it's only a month old video this environment i didn't like it very much at first because i didn't really understand it because my you know my child brain was oh i want to go fast i want to i want to do loops and jumps it i don't want to go slow um god if i ever do that voice again that video slap me i just didn't really understand the natio environment of coast because it was slow paced but at the same time your car would lose grip very easily and you would actually have to kind of worry about your speed and do all this kind of speed management and stuff like that. It wasn't something that I enjoyed personally. But now that I'm a bit older, I actually do really enjoy the environment. So let me show you Bay real quick. Uh, so this is a task of a race on Trackmania's Bay environment. But you still get the point. It was like an SUV and it kind of combined Island with Coast. In the ways of it was a very drifty SUV, but there was high speed, there were jumps, loops, uh, obstacles to avoid. Very fun environment to race through. Then, you know, a little bit later after Trackmania Sunrise came Trackmania Nations, which is where we got introduced to the island environment, or the, 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 I'm an idiot environment, the stadium environment where holy cow this is old this shows you how old 17 year old video but stadium was very much a kind of mix of coast bay and island where you had high speed with loops and jumps but also kind of the speed of island the kind of somewhat feel of coast and just like obstacle styles i think of bay when it comes to like the metal walls and stuff like that for the loops and the jumps and 
this is kind of where this all started. This was the first time we saw Island or er, uh, Stadium was on Trackmania Nations. So after this, you got Trackmania United, which was kind of a remake of Trackmania Sunrise, but it also added environments from the original Trackmania game. I got sneeze. But yeah, after Trackmania United came Trackmania 2020, which is the game I'm talking about today. So Trackmania 2020 was basically just a rework of the island environment where they also allowed players to make their own racetrack blocks and stuff like that. It's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. And what we were watching today is the new summer campaign. And through Scrappy's video, I found out that they are still messing with car physics. And this game has been out for three years, but it's only on two specific styles of track that they really are messing with it hardcore. So in Trackmania 2020, there is, which released in 2020, it was, like I said, a rework of Stadium with a ton of new racetrack blocks and the ability for players to make their own custom track blocks. It was cool, tons of, it's a ton of fun. This game is great. And every couple of months they add new block types that are official blocks for making racetracks or uh, environment blocks are a big thing that they add every couple of patches um, and once in a while there's a new race surface right now off the top of my head I can think of just basic racetrack which is what you see uh, Scrappy sitting in front of which is right here this is just basic roadway there's plastic, which is kind of slippery, but also kind of grippy. Very hard to explain. Kind of just have to see somebody drive on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ice, which is exactly how it sounds. Very slippery. There's a lot of ice drifting is kind of what they call it on ice, which is a ton of fun to watch. Then there's dirt, sand, and grass. There's bobsleigh, which is ice, but think of bobsleigh in the Olympics. That's exactly what bobsleigh is in Trackmania. So... My big gripe is with bobsleigh and ice. Now, let me explain some of the more advanced driving tactics in Trackmania 2020. There's speed drifting, there's speed sliding, there's what's called the dragon yeet, there's, uh, there's dirt sliding that is a very specific thing, the speed drifting is very specific. All of these things exist on various surfaces so like uh for example um hold on i'm looking at my script so i don't forget and on ice and bobsleigh uh if you held a very specific percentage for a long time to turn on bobsleigh and ice you would actually gain speed on the ice surfaces then they patched that and then they brought people discovered there was a way that you could rhythmically wiggle and it would make your car a little bit faster on ice. And those were called speed wiggles. Uh, so on racetrack plastic and grass, you can do speed drifting or speed sliding. Uh, especially on racetrack surfaces, you it's very specific. Let me find it real quick. So on certain surfaces like asphalt and tarmac, there are certain percentages of tire overlap. So basically what you see here in the dark gray is your back tire, tire grip lines overlapping your front tires. So the back tires and front tires kind of overlapping. So up to speed 420, you want about this gap. Up to speed 500, you want about this gap. 600, 700, 800, 900, 995. And that's how you gain speed above you know a certain threshold. On dirt, you can get away with it kind of like this. On grass, it's about like this. And there's a whole write-up about it here. But there's also other advanced uh, techniques as well, like two-wheel and one-wheel uh, speed drifting. Galaxy drift is a new thing I've never heard of. There's uh, speed slides or speed drifting on, um, you know, magnets, water bounces. This is going to be a really cool website. Once it's actually done. I did not know about this. But. As far as. How speed drifting works. It's something that they've never patched. And it's been in the game since Trackmania Nations. And actually even further back than that. On the island environment in Trackmania Sunrise. You've been able to do it forever. 
Uh, there's also things called dragon yeet, which let me just show you that dragon yeet. <laughs> uh, what's the shortest video? Probably this. So this is a dragon yeet. You just basically gain a bunch of time or a bunch of speed by speed sliding. So as you can see, the uh, tire slides overlapping each other for him to gain speed basically over 950 speed and what a dragon yeet is is you get your car into a specific direction on the ground slide it and then just throw it across the map and they've never patched that but that's so heavily abusable there's other things like uh the grass drifting you can do different speed drifts in grass and on dirt there's a whole bunch of these little things on ice, though, 34%. I think I'll be able to find that. If you find the 34% hold, you can actually gain time is what it used to be. You would hold 34%, you would gain speed on an ice. And then as you can see here, even on... Uh, on regular ice, after the patch of the 34% uh, sort of thing, you would wiggle, and it would help you gain speed on ice that way. Well, in the most recent update of the summer campaign on Trackmania 2020, you can no longer speed wiggle on ice or bobsleigh. And this is literally a straight line track. So, in previous patch, before yesterday, you would just speed wiggle this, and you would probably be able to get, like, a 15.5 second time. I'll be completely honest with you. And I'm betting you someone's going to find a new way. But, at least for the example of it, like, it's... They keep messing with ice and bobsleigh. I hate it. It's... That's one thing with video games that just really irks me the wrong way, is when they keep messing with stuff. It Ice and bobsleigh has been in the game for at least a year and a half, and they continuously screw with it. I honestly, I hate that in video games. Uh, they do it with combat arms all the time, which is one of the, well, Velofi does. Nexon really didn't. But, like, you hear about it in racing games all the time, too. Oh, this car got nerfed. Or even RPGs and um, MMOs and stuff like that. You hear, oh, this got nerfed, this got uh, buffed. Or even, like, Halo games. I can understand it. Let's take, you know, we'll stay Trackmania. I can understand if it's a new surface. Let's say they added gravel. And the very first month of gravel, they realize, oh, maybe it's a little too slippery. And then in the next patch update, they make it a little less slippery. That's different. Or, you know, if there's two or three patches to get it right, that's different. But this has been in the game for nearly a year and a half to two years. Why are they still messing with it? All they ended up doing was ruining some old racetracks, and um, this isn't even ice anymore. I don't know why I'm still playing his video. All they did was like ruin really old racetracks that were both uh, first party made by Natio for single player and uh, by community members. Uh, there are tracks you just cannot finish anymore without doing something like a Dragon Yeet or uh, some other form of a glitch to basically make your way to the finish line faster than you should they've never patched those glitches but why are they constantly patching things out of ice and bobsleigh it doesn't make any sense the speed wobbles in the patch before yesterday were completely possible and even on pc using the arrow keys and on controller there was no advantage over one or the other if you're on but, like, for some odd reason, they still blame that. It doesn't make any sense to me. I really don't like it, and this is what's pushing me away from Trackmania 2020 so much. So, I would love to con start a series on Trackmania, you know, call it the Get Good series. I've talked about it a lot, but it's these kinds of changes that just really make me not want to play the game and yeah i could just never play those environment tracks but once i start getting to a certain level and i'm doing tracks of the day and stuff like that if i want to make it a series and i play them every day i am eventually going to run in the types of tracks that i am unhappy about because they keep screwing around with them and something i would have learned in a previous patch suddenly doesn't work people put hours upon hours upon hours 
Some people put hundreds if not thousands of hours into just one world record on this game. And now all of that is taken away. Well, those records are going to be permanent. But the only reason they're permanent is because there's not a way to physically beat them without finding a shortcut that's just going to undermine their efforts of doing it at the time. So I know this was kind of a long rant. It took a while to get there, like seven minutes for me to actually explain why I was mad about this whole update with Trackmania. But I just really wanted to explain why I hate all these changes that they constantly keep doing with Trackmania. So, I hope you guys understand. Let me know in the comments down below if you feel the same way about anything with video games where you just hate these constant updates of um, them changing things on you. Like, what did you learn? What was... Give me an example of a game in the comments down below that you've experienced this with. Uh, whether it was, you know, an item buff or an item debuff, basically, to... You know, and because of that, you kind of started to hate the game and hate the developers. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.